Hi guys, Luke here with Motion Page, back with another simple tutorial today. Recently I was browsing through uh, Wise.com's website and you'll notice as you scroll down, around halfway down the page, we'll see some countries flags. So it's just below this element here, so I'm going to keep scrolling down. And we have a really cool effect here with these flags. And this is also locked to scroll bar, as you can see. And I just wanted to show you how you can create this in Motion Page today. So all this is using is just a container displaying as flex row. This element right here is just extending or increasing the width. And as a result, it's pushing all of these elements off the screen automatically. And then each flag has a class applied to it. And then we can target that single class in Motion Page and make it rotate as we scroll down. So we'll be using scroll trigger and also we'll lock it to scroll bar and then just apply some animations to this class here and also this element here will change the dimension, the, the width specifically. So let's get started. All right, so once again, this will be a, an oxygen build. Um, I'm gonna create our page, so add new. I'm just gonna call this um, countries animation. Um, publish this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create uh, a basic page. I'll create two sections and then in the middle I'll create our main section that we'll use to animate just so we have some buffer zones for scrolling. All right so I'm just going to use um, a design set that I created here Violet and I'm just going to add some dummy content sections content. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to add another one. Let's do for example this one and then in between these two I'm going to create our main section that we'll be working on today section and I'm just going to put that in the middle all right so here I'm going to try and set up our elements uh, which look similar to this I'm going to use different colors but it's going to be very similar so first what I want is a div and this is going to be our main container as you can see in oxygen obviously our section has padding and it sets to page width, so let's fix that first because on Wise, this is going right up to the edges. So we'll make this full width in Oxygen. So I'll just go here and set this to full width. And we also want to get rid of the padding on both sides. So I'll just get rid of those. I'll set them to zero. Okay, so our div, I'm just going to rename this so it's easier for me to follow. So this is going to be our flex container. And this wants to be set to horizontal. And I just want to vertical align uh, middle everything. I also want to set this to full width. So I'm just going to go in here and do 100%. Okay, so in here we can add our elements. So first let's set up this element here. So I'm going to add another div for that. And this is going to be our arrow container. I'm going to give this a minimum width of 30 viewport width like this and in here I want to add an icon this icon is going to be an arrow I'm going to use Oxy Ninja Core's uh, awesome icons here I'm going to use this one I'm going to make it solid I'm going to give this a background color and also I want to give this main container a background color as well I'm going to make this one a little bit darker I'm going to add some padding to this element so I'm going to use padding XS. This is an Oxy Ninja class here. It's just, um, it uses responsive spacing. And what we need to do next is we need to align this to the right. So on the parent here, the container, make sure I'm back on the ID here. Uh, just make sure that this is also horizontal and I'm going to put everything to the right like this. Next, I'm going to resize this icon so it's a little bit bigger. I'm going to make this uh, 200 pixels, which is pretty big. And then on this one, back to the parent, I'm going to give this um, right side here a border radius so let's go to borders and then I'm gonna do edit individual radius and top right I'm gonna do a thousand pixels and bottom right a thousand pixels so now we get this nice rounded shape uh, with padding here as well so that looks pretty good so next what I want to do is add each of the uh, images so I've already gone ahead and saved these to my install so I'm just gonna add them here individually so I'm gonna go image so image URL browse, let's add Europe first. Now I'm going to make all the changes on the class here, it'll just be easier. So I'm just going to call this class 
I'm gonna call it M MP flag, motion page flag like this. So on this class, I wanna give them each a height of 260 pixels. Before I continue, I wanna go back to the parents here and just add a small gap. So I'm just gonna use a utility class here and use gap S. C columns gap S will add a small gap like that. And then what we can do is just duplicate this four more times and then change each country. The next one is India and then America. Go here and there is one more so we'll duplicate that one more time and add South Korea here. Okay so I'm going to save this and just check the front real quick. Alright that looks pretty good. So now I think this is ready for motion page so let's open up motion page and edit these elements. Okay so I'm going to create a new timeline here and this timeline is just going to be called country flags. I'm going to select our newly created page. Okay, scroll down so now we can see the elements. So what we'll need to do first is make this scroll trigger. We want to lock this to the scroll bar because if you remember, as we scroll up and down, it's locked to the scroll. Uh, I want to get rid of the delay. I don't want any delay on this. I want it to be quite snappy. We're not pinning any elements, so that's okay. And I think that these default values actually work pretty well. So I want to leave those as they are as well. And then next, uh, let's create our animation. So first, remember we need two animation nodes because we want to apply a rotation to this, but we also want to extend this width of this element here. So let's focus on this element first. So I'm just going to use the selection scanner here to select this. And I'm just going to use the ID for now. I didn't give this a class, but that's okay. The default values are all okay, but as we scroll down, we want it to animate too, and we want to change the dimension. So we'll go to dimensions, width, we we'll change this to viewport width, and let's give this a value of 70. So as you can see, nothing's changed. So I'm just going to open up oxygen, and I'm going to select this element, and instead of using width, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to size and spacing, and I'm going to use min width instead. So min width is going to be 30. I'm going to save this. The so motion page has refreshed. I'm also going to get rid of this one. And instead, I want to use a custom property. And in here, we'll use min width again. And then we'll do 70 viewport width like that. And that will work this time. Another thing before I forget, you can see it kind of slows down towards the end. And that's because the easing is set to default. So if we set this to none, that will be a much more linear animation. It doesn't slow down anymore. So next what we want to do is we'll target the class that we applied to these pictures. So we'll set up a new animation node and there we will add the rotation. So let's go back here, animation selector. Let's just have a look. It was MP hyphen flag. So we'll do full stop hyphen flag. Make sure you press enter and we'll just make sure that's working so you can see it's highlighting the first instance of that class, which is what we need. And then all we need to do, again, two, we'll just change the rotation. Let's try 420 degrees. So you can see now in the editor here, it looks really fast, but on the front end, this will actually look much better. And you can see again, it's slowing down towards the end and that's just because the easing once again, we'll just change that to none. I'm gonna save this and have a look on the front. Okay, so this is our homepage. We scroll down and as you can see, as you scroll down, they're rotating off the screen. Now, if you think the rotation is, is too fast, then you can just play around with this value on the rotation. So for example, change it to 360 a slightly smaller value will give you a slower rotation like this. So let's go to uh, the wise example. There it is. And our example once again. So it looks pretty similar. Obviously, I just need to make this section a little bit taller so that we can actually keep scrolling down. But I think that looks pretty good. And it looks very similar to wise's example here, just using different colors, obviously. So there you have it guys, just another very basic tutorial today. I thought I'd make that after stumbling upon it on uh, wise.com's website. I thought it would be a, a pretty cool tutorial to make, so here it is. I hope you like it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll be back with more content every Monday. Thank you very much.